Here's why Javante Davis win against Ryan Garcia doesn't count in my opinion. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope all is well. Please give me a like, comment, share, subscribe. I know I'm going to get a lot of comments on this and about 98% of you are not going to like what I have to say in this video. So with that being said, how come Javante Davis win doesn't really count in my opinion? For one, there was a lot of talk leading up to this fight, a lot of trash talk going back and forth. And Javante Davis said to Ryan Garcia, there's a mold in your camp. Now, what does he mean by that? That means that there was somebody in Ryan Garcia's camp that was watching and giving information back to Javante Davis camp. Now, has this happened before in boxing? Of course, it happens all the time. But for him to admit that, that's not a good look in my opinion. That's cheating. Number two, the hydration clause. I have never, first of all, I have never heard of a hydration clause, but how it works, there's a catch weight here, right? So, you know, you have both fighters have to weigh in and they have to be at a certain um, weight. And the next day, they have to get weighed again to make sure they're not over a certain weight. And then after that, they can hydrate all they want to. This might have been unfair advantage for um, Javante Davis. Ryan Garcia, he didn't have any excuses. He still signed the contract. You know, he agreed to the rehydration clause. But if I was him, I wouldn't have agreed to that dehydration clause. I said, listen, you're either going to fight me or not. OK, but he agreed to it. So obviously he had to go along with the contract, but he may have been a little weak in that fight. But the main reason is, the main thing is, Javante Davis said he had a mold in the camp. And he had mentioned that Ryan Garcia got hurt in training. And he alluded to the fact that he got hurt in the body. So that may have given him an unfair advantage. Like, okay, this guy is hurting in his body. Let me attack the body. Because in the fight, he did go for the body and he attacked the body. In my opinion, this fight doesn't count, Javante. And I'm not taking nothing away from Javante Davis. He's a great fighter. Everyone knows that. He's a highly skilled uh, fighter. And he's a very smart fighter. However, but if you had an unfair advantage over Ryan Garcia, I can't give you this fight, sir. And I'm probably the only one that's going to say that. Do people cheat in boxing all the time? Of course. But I don't give them credit either. So Javante Davis, unfortunately... You know, it was an impressive shot to the body to end the fight. But, you know, I, I'm going to say it doesn't count. And your belts weren't on the line anyway because you guys were fighting at a catch weight. At the end of the day, Ryan Garcia, you actually came out victorious because you got the bag. You, um, Javante had an unfair advantage because of the rehydration clause, even though you agreed to it. But the mold in the camp and that's unfair. Because did Ryan Garcia have a mold in your camp, Javante? I don't. Th I don't think so. That's my opinion. What say you? Drop a comment below. I can already tell what these comments are gonna look like, but drop a comment below anyway. Like, comment, share, subscribe, guys. I see you on the next video. Peace.